I can't stand none of you flickers. Hello, Power Director peeps. It is Tablet Tuesday once again, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make the flicker effect using the Power Director Mobile Video Editor app. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director Mobile. The flicker effect allows you to make a neon sign turn on and off to your little heart's content. It creates a cool effect that can be used for many types of videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the flicker effect in your videos. I'm about to raise your flicker game. First, you want to bring the footage that you want to use as your background into the main timeline track. It could be a banner, billboard, a video, a picture. It could be whatever you want. So let's go ahead and tap on the media icon. Make sure that you're on a tab that you choose. For this example, I'm going to go to the picture tab. Then go to the location where the picture is. Tap on that picture and tap the plus sign to add it to the main track. Next, you want to add your neon lettering or your neon sign to your overlay track. So tap on the overlay icon. Make sure that you are on the picture tab. Tap on the location of the neon letters. Tap on that file and tap the plus sign. And it will add that to the overlay track. You want to tap back and then you want to tap back. So the first thing that we want to do here is we want to make sure that there is no pan and zoom effect applied to the clip in the main track. So I'm going to tap on the picture in the main track. I'm going to tap on pan and zoom and I'm going to tap on no effect and tap OK. And it should bring it to the full size of the screen. And the next thing that you want to do is make sure that your neon lettering fits the sign like it's supposed to. So you want to tap on the clip on the overlay track and you want to pinch that out till it gets to the correct size. And once you're done with that, go ahead and tap on the timeline track. Next thing that you want to do is add the sound effect of the electricity or the neon sign hum. So tap on the media icon. Make sure that you're on the audio tab, tap on sound effects or the location of the sound, wherever you put it, tap on the sound you want to use and tap the plus sign and add that to the track. You want to tap back and tap back. So at this point, first thing I'm going to do is trim down this audio so that it is the size of the other clips. So I'm just going to tap on it, tap on the line and drag this back in and it snaps right into place. So now everything is the same duration and I'm gonna go ahead and stretch out the timeline so I can see more frames. Now I wanna go ahead and change the audio a little bit because the audio is kinda of loud. So I'm gonna tap on the audio, then I'm gonna tap on volume and we're gonna bring this down to 50% and that's good there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and tap on okay. And now the next thing I want to do is create the flicker. So to create the flicker, what we need to do is remove parts of the image of the neon letters every few frames. So how we're going to do that is we're going to move our playhead to a position where we want to start removing pieces. We're going to split it. We're going to move forward and we're going to split it again. And we're also going to split the audio at the same place that we're splitting the image of the letters so that the sound goes away whenever the letter disappears. So right here, let's go ahead and tap on split and we're going to tap on the audio and we're going to tap on split. Then we're going to move forward one tenth. We're going to hit split. I'm going to tap on the overlay icon and we're going to hit split again. So we're splitting both of these at the same place every time. Move forward another tenth. Now that all the splits are done, we're going to go back to the beginning and we're going to tap on one of the areas that we want to delete. We're going to tap on delete. We're going to tap right below that in the audio and we're going to delete that. Then we'll skip one of these. We'll tap on the next one, hit delete. 
And as you can see, we're kind of creating it where it flickers on and off by doing this. Now we can play it back and see what it looks like. That's flickery. If you like what you see, I'll leave a link to try out Power Director Mobile in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.